Watching two middle-aged blokes sulking about cars. Legit, the highlight of my week. That Sylvia looks like it would be an absolute demon in the sack with all that pelvic thrusting on the start line. <laughs> Eight second, what looked like an eighth mile pass isn't fast at all. I could be wrong. This is all wrong. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, don't give these comments either. It went 100 and say it went 155 mile an hour, whatever it ran. If it was eighth mile, that would indicate the car is even more, is even faster. But they've got, they've got no idea on, court, on on any drag racing times at all. Eighth mile. You know, when you see comments, I could be wrong, everything said before that, it is wrong, it is wrong. The LS is the Nickelback of engines. That means the LS is awesome. What's wrong with Nickelback? The music ruins the video. So hang on, out of a video, I think it went for 2 minutes 20, it had about 15 seconds of music when you put the engine based stats up. How dare you! What are you doing? I hear your, uh, I hear the old RX-8 salt mines kicking in again, so I'm just, uh, oh, just that's, getting ready. Oh, that's, that's just an on ongoing, ongoing. It never, it never stops. I mean, every time I hear the RX-8 salt mine comments, I'm just thinking, I gotta, I gotta buy an RX-8. I oh, know, you said you were gonna buy one a few, what, a few months ago? What's going on? Oh, I've been around, I've been away. I think it's time uh, to buy one over the summer, maybe. They're about 150 horsepower off where they need to be to be exciting. And your one strong gust of wind off being bald. I mean, that's just that's just straight to the heart. This guy is just butt hurt at the oh, next yeah. level. Yeah. And Broomy's not going bald, so I don't know what that dumb comment is about. When when people when people start writing, uh, you know, defamatory personal comments, you just realise you've got them where it hurts. Oh, that's just that's just worked well. Brian! Ah! Making a review comparison video about an engine that came out in 2003 versus a 15 years difference. 15 years difference of what? What's this guy on about? I don't know what he's talking about. 15 years, what is he talking about? No, and the funny thing is we're actually comparing the... In the video, we're comparing the RX-8 video uh, engine to older rotaries. Yeah. Shouldn't the newer engine be better? Isn't that normally the case? They refine stuff and make it better? Not go backwards? I'll translate. Since you can't beat up on the engine and actually have to learn proper maintenance for a rotary, the engine sucks. Troll again, buddy. Oh. Well, I just came back from Orlando where, you know, some of the oh. fastest they rotary... Must, they must have all had Renaissance engines. Just Renaissance engines everywhere. Yeah, I think I saw a grand total of none. <laughs> Why aren't they using RX-8 engines? Apparently, I don't know, they'll see the light one day. Well, sorry for being that guy that checks his oil and changing it when it needs to be done. But let me tell you something. The RX-8 made me look after it, which I've never done before I had it. <laughs> it's amazing how many... So, so hang, hang on, let me get this straight. Before he bought an RX-8, he never checked the oil or did anything. So it sounds like he was just a shit. But checking the oil is like... Wow. This guy should be controlling a race car team. Like, with that sort of insight into owning a car, mate, check the oil. You can't be super reliable, just check the oil. So but what, basically what he's saying though is before this though, he didn't give a shit and service his Hang cars. Hang but are you saying if you don't check the oil, I, it's, so what you're saying is the engine's so shit, it uses so much oil, you've got to keep checking it? Sounds like a Subaru. It's a car for people that have a passion for looking after it, not just some bloke that just effing drives it and doesn't give a shit. Hang on, weren't you the guy beforehand that had the privilege of owning an RX-8? Yeah. <laughs> then obviously it will fail. I love the RX-8, one of the best vehicles I've ever had. You like hearing your own voice and your own opinion, but you're, you're not the one, only one with an opinion, and I haven't got time or energy to waste talking to you just likes to hear herself. English 101. So he hasn't got any time, but he just spent all that time, time. and energy writing that comment on the internet to, <laughs> to a complete stranger. <laughs> Moron. 
Your opinion is awful and my car is awesome. Jesus. Better get some uh, soothing lotion there, Jordan. You just got burnt. Aussies don't know jack shit about automobiles. Sorry to break it to you. They are too busy making money off tourism and mispronouncing words. This is coming from a bloke who lives in a country where they still can't adopt the flame and metric system. And he's True. saying we're backwards. Yeah. A 9.5 litre V12 making only 750 horsepower. Is it a diesel? Joking. TVR made 960 20 years, 25 years ago. Current Europeans of 6.5. A 720 to 790. Mm -hmm. What engines are those? It's amazing how many. They're, they're, in, they're in highly strung performance cars too. You know, this isn't just the. Did he miss the part in the in that video? Yeah, where it's still going here. It's still going. Extreme engines like the Valkyrie, 1160 horsepower, 6.5 NA. So <laughs> knows what's going on here. Zero degrees timing, lead pistons. <laughs> the Valkyrie. <laughs> Saying we're going to pair an Aston Martin. He's comparing Aston Martin. To a small company out of Australia making bespoke V12 engines. And also, if this idiot had watched the video, it stated this is the entry, entry level. level. This is like base level, level power. You can you can order a thousand horsepower combination, whatever you want. They're uh, always going on about this cast iron block too. In the video, he mentions an alloy block is available, but it just seems they're going over everyone's heads and they're just crapping on about no, it's an iron block. An alloy block. An aluminum block. Aluminum. I mean, this isn't a bad comment. Cast iron block, really? In that case, you don't need a front spoiler anymore. Give him that. <laughs> so it makes a little less power than a lot of street rices of less than three litre displacement. Hmm. Someone who's never been in a big engine before, 100%. Torque? Torque. Heard about this thing called torque? What makes it an LS? All seems to be custom made. Have you not noticed the LS components that go into this engine? I mean, or well, the LS architecture that the engine runs. I don't even know how to respond to some of these comments anymore. It's just every time I, I read them, I just think of the Picard face palm, double face palm, whatever that meme is. Someone get the stick of butter and jam one into a caterham. Now, if you don't know what a caterham is, they're the little open wheeler cars that are you sitting on the ground and they they weigh literally nothing. If I'm gonna die, I wanna die with a V12 LS right in front of my junk. So we just uploaded a first video of a series we're making about putting a Ford Barra engine. The the engine that you hate. Oh, hate we actually we death. both hate, hate, hate it. it to death. Uh, into you know mid nineties Commodore. So if you're, uh, if you're from overseas, that's a Ford engine in a GM body. Yeah. So it's always controversial, even though it's a bit like all the uh, Fox bodies in the states with LSs in. Yeah. Similar sort of deal, but you know you get you get. Uh, Rags because it's been done. It's been been done before, which we said in the video. We're not. Uh, we're not. We never said it was the first. It's just a project car, just to do something. Basically, just to make some sort of budget street car that you can drive to the track, have a few runs in, go home. Not trying to make 1,500 horsepower. Just something that is all right to drive. But you had some fan feedback. But one of the reasons what we're putting the Ford engine in the Holden is what you're about to read out. The butthurt. We love. How annoyed people get. How about a straight comparison, no bullshit budget versus budget LS build? Because that's never been done, actually. Actually, that's a good, this guy's onto something. Why don't we put an LS into a Commodore? That, that'd be, that'd be pretty unique. Yeah, super unique. Doing an LS conversion. Actually, geez, I should be wearing my LS the World t-shirt because it might give some insight into what that means. I mean, honestly. I'm, I've been watching this channel for a couple of years. You're dead to me. <laughs> this actually made me feel sick. That's mm. Magna World. Magna World. What a garbage project. Why bother? A lot less time and effort to put an LS in it. Mm -hmm. They must have missed the bit in their title where it actually says Barra Holden. I hate that. I'm going to click on it. They may as well have taken a shit in the engine bay. Aloe will be better than a Barra. He's probably got a point, hasn't he? <laughs> so this bloke's not a fan of the Holden Colorado. These utes look like barnacles. You know people call them Lolorados? 
Lollarados. Yeah. These utes look like barnacles, fit as many lumps, bumps, stickers, scoops, flares, bars, lights, racks, etc. on them, so there's no room left for paint. Can't fit a chainsaw on the ute and cheap Thailand interiors, standard template nowadays. People get pretty passionate over their uh, work utes in Australia. Yeah. What he said, I reckon he's pretty much spot on. <laughs> My personal favourite, the V6 Commodore with an exhaust. If anyone wants to know what a vibrator sounds like, if you put it in an empty bathtub, that's the exact sound. Now the roads, we never talk about the roads, but did you hear the state government wants to hear your opinion of the roads? Why? They won't do anything with it. Oh, they're going to do heaps. They're working on their next road safety strategy and they want your help to shape it. Throughout Victoria, they had a public um, survey giving your views. What, what are the, what's the results? More speed arms and red lights? Well, this is how it would have gone down in the big, big uh, meeting. We need the public's input for, new road for a new road safety campaign. The public, better driver education, more police presence, keep less left unless overtaking, enter the freeways at a safe speed. Agree with all that. Yep, them. More speed cameras it is. Have you heard about how they want to put 50, they want to increase it 50 to 70% speed cameras? cameras because the road toll's gone up, but hang on. I thought speed cameras save lives. Shouldn't the road toll be going down? But you know, they, they don't want to implement it if they're not going to have the um, confidence of the community. Like, you lost the confidence of the community 10 years ago. You know what it reminds me of? That quote in 1984, 2 plus 2 equals 5. How many fingers am I holding up this just keep hammering the same bullshit mantra. Yeah, no, top of that, they do this little sample of this big and then go, we got the public's opinion. Really? No, no. Even the public tell them what they really want. Oh, and they won't do it. Yeah, That's yeah. just going through the motions. That They know what they... More cameras. Hmm. They just want to act like they actually care what the public think. But the, what do you do? What do you do? It is so frustrating driving in Australia now. Like, I, I, yeah, I've just come back from overseas. And any, any every time you leave Australia, it does not matter what country you go to. Driving on the road seems so much nicer. Mm. Everywhere. People are way more courteous too. Oh, yeah. Here, yeah. it's just dog eat dog on the freeway, tailgating. But of course, people are not even doing the speed limit. I Terrible. Mean, I'm sure you all deal with the right-hand lane bandits. Have you seen this safety, safety campaign poster getting around? See it, hear it, report it. Are you witnessing any of the following? Street racing. Excessive speed. Burnouts. Drifting. Rolling roadblocks. <laughs> just, as if the general public knows what a rolling roadblock is, seriously. Streets closed, pizza boy. Find another way home. Goddamn street racer. Vehicles making excessive noise or smoke. So they've even got a QR code. Yeah, it's pretty it? high yeah. tech here. You can report it to the New South Wales Police for action or scan the QR code. Visit Crime Stoppers. But what are you, you going to report? I saw this bloke. It says what the vehicle about. looks like, the Hooney activity, the registration plate, the date, the time. If possible, a photo. But hang on, unless so you, some dude's out there just ripping a man's skid and you're going to sit there and. But unless you've got video of the so called criminal offence, that's not real proof. I don't know. How's this? The Victorian government has pocketed another $12 million in revenue after upgrading some old speed cameras. Think of all the lives that have been saved. Oof. Millions of dollars thanks to a technical technological upgrade to the state's speed and red light cameras. And it says here it's basically going from an old wet film technology to, to a digital type. Are they seriously using film in, in speed cameras? I guess the boxes would be pretty old some of them. One camera in Melbourne issued 16,872 fines. Jesus. 41 and a 40, you reckon? I know what road that is. I think it's a 70 zone. Doesn't that tell you, though, maybe the speed limit's too slow? Mm. If you're getting so many cars, maybe, like, the speed limit is wrong. But that would be logic. That would That is what you would call proactive policing. Reactive policing is, hey, you stepped over the line, we're going to fine you. Do you know what I mean? If you don't speed, you won't get fined. Yeah. The old uh, grey hair brigade always come out and say that. Oof. The Office of Road Safety Camera Commissioners Annual Report. Every time I hear the Commissioner, I just think, 
Commissioner Gordon. Commissioner Gordon with the red bat phone, because that's how high up we're talking here. This comes at a time when Victoria's road toll is skyrocketing, yeah. which poses obvious questions around the around where the speed cameras work. It's much higher than last year, or well, the last two years have been, I think. So the speed cameras aren't working, so we'll put more in. Or, as or... terrible as that is, it just shows, well, what are they going to do? Look at this absolute peanut. Some reporter, he's crossing on live TV to, I don't know, like a Today Show or something, and all these classic cars. Apparently, he got fired for this. This is what it says. I don't know how true that is. But he, he's, apparently, he's not even supposed to touch these cars. He jumps on one and is trying to be smart, lying on this car. I'm not even lying on the cars. So no one is out here to tell me which car can I can't go in because you know some of these are off limits. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna live on the wild side. Tell me what you think about this pose right here, Tina. Right. Right here on the Thunderbirds. Then he goes to hop in a car and clearly he opens the door. There's a car right beside him, and then he actually it's like he deliberately just slams it into the door like he's so of much of a klutz, and then he goes oh oops. 99, yeah, right. And oh, 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 no. Oh, I hit that other car. Oh, no. Oh, Angel. L laughs about it. So he's just dings someone's pride and joy. Then hops in the car. Oh, my God. He has this criminal mastermind made his own um, number plates out of oh, paper. Yes. Ed, 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 educated. He wrote edu. On, on the, I think, I don't think it's on the older Victorian number plates. It used to say, I think it used to say the education state. Yeah, Victoria, the education state. And he's tried to, he's ed, educated. He's got his texture out and tried to make number plates. And he's actually written edu, how do you, how do you even say that? E education. I think he wrote edu, something ed, like that. Education. Ga ga he spelt it all G. wrong with a G and, and <laughs> the education state. But how accurate were the plates? Like you'd never pick them as being so, like, you wouldn't pick that a mile away. I could use the texture and sticky tape, so they're waterproof, I think. <laughs> Two JZs dominating again. Did you see the venom? Is that how you pronounce it? And uh, you saw you saw this car in Orlando recently. Yeah, yeah. But he, uh, they apparently they reset. I guess what you'd call they kind of have a list which is the fastest sport compact in the world. It's basically non-V8 engines, so it's smaller engines, six cylinders, four cylinders, mm. rotaries. All these engines now are turning to billet blocks, which is enabling them to put, you know, a hundred pound of boost into these engines, so they're making crazy power. Yeah, but the, the newer chassis look like, if you look at the back of the cars now, they look so stretched. The rear the rear of the cars all look, all look like the rear of a NASCAR. Mm. The, the aero on them, is sim it looks almost like a NASCAR at the back of the car. He went a 555 at 254, which I think the car's actually gone faster mile per hour, mm. 210 to, to the eighth mile. <laughs> this is just a funny video I saw. It's um, 2JZ like a dirt dragster. And so obviously it's a lot shorter track, but they run 300 You mean foot, 2JZ? 2JZ. A 300 foot, 107 mile an hour. Jeez. So it's moving. I mean, yeah. look at this thing. It's so funny. Two steps on the dirt, big look, power. Look at the paddle tires on the back. Yeah, pretty cool. But there's, in, rotary, uh, there's rotaries and everything in it. It's pretty popular, that stuff. 